with harsh measures meant to deny them resources to function constitutes attack on the rights of trade unions and is a violation of ILO Convention number 98. <laughs> Lately, we have witnessed trends where the Salaries and Remuneration Commission have systematically usurped the rights and mandates of employers to negotiate and reach agreements with unions. We, in the trade unions, believe in social dialogue within our ranks and with our partners. We, however, wish to raise our displeasure in that more often than not, it has become increasingly difficult to engage with senior government officials. Your Excellency, it is now much easier to reach the head of state than it is to meet the cabinet secretaries and some senior government officers. We have to say it very, very honestly. This explains why, for instance, strike notices go unattended to until they expire, only for the officials to call for last minute attempts to arrest the situations to no avail. This tendency must cease and let those bestowed with public offices know that it is better to listen than to talk and issue threats. Your Excellency, sir, as I conclude, ladies and gentlemen, the theme of this year's celebration is workers, women, children, and vulnerable Kenyans appeal for peaceful elections. It would not have come at a better time than this celebration. As we approach the national elections, we would wish to add our voice and call upon all Kenyans, young and old, to go and vote and maintain peace and avoid violence. We shall be addressing ourselves as workers to the political party manifestos. We will want to see all political parties customize the rights of workers into their manifestos. And Your Excellency, you have listened to workers so well over the years. You have personally fixed labor issues so well over the years. And we hope the workers' rights, as provided for in Section 41 of the Constitution and in the ILO conventions, shall be in page one of the manifesto of your party. <laughs> Kenyan elections should be issue-based and not ethnic-based as outlined in Kenya Vision 2030 would want the world to know